Hello, welcome to this tutorial on how to set up your fans in your PC. Um, when you're running into the issue that uh, your fan is constantly speeding up and slowing down, uh, whenever the temperatures are increasing uh, and lowering, then this is the tutorial for you. Now, this applies to Gigabyte boards primarily because we're going to be configuring SmartFan 5, which is a Gigabyte app. Um, we're going to be doing it from the BIOS. Um, there is ways to do this from App Center as well, which is a Windows app provided by Gigabyte, but we're doing the BIOS today. Um, to start off with this, uh, what we're going to have to do is basically try and work out what temperature our PC runs when it's at idle and what temperature it runs at when we are essentially running apps. Could be Google Chrome, could be games, anything like that. So to find this out, what we're going to do is download a couple of programs and use these to have a look at our temperatures and then go from there. So the first program we're gonna do is called Core Temp. Now, Core Temp is primarily designed for Intel CPUs. Um, if you're running a Ryzen CPU, uh, you can go over to the... If you're using a Ryzen CPU, you can go to the Ryzen website and download their Ryzen Master, which will give you all the temperatures um, for the Ryzen CPUs. So, uh, search for Core Temp Download and come straight to this page, and we can just click Download here. Um, we're just going to skip this because you might get an ad pop up. Um, but then you can see in the top right corner here that's downloaded now. So let's just open the folder that that's in. And we're going to run Core Temp. So we're going to install this first. And what you'll find is it offers you to download a game, which you don't want. So that's the second one here. Um, create a desktop shortcut. Um, don't worry about the language packs because we're not going to be on this very long and we are going to click continue, next, install, no need to open the readme.txt file, just launch core temp and then we get that right here. Now what we're looking for here, in this case I have four cores, core 0, core 1, core 2 and core 3 and this will tell me just over on the right here the minimum and maximum that the core is experiencing in terms of temperature. Um, if you can see these numbers, great. If not, I'll read them out to you. The minimum is 25 degrees and the maximum is 28 degrees at the moment. And this is just running at idle. So we have a maximum temperature of about 28 degrees on this last core here. Now you can look up the cores. Some of them do get a little bit hotter. So core two goes up to 35 degrees as the max and the minimum is 27 degrees. So we're kind of getting an idea of what the temperature is when the PC is running at idle at the moment. So we're not running any programs or tasks. Um, I've closed uh, Windows uh, Microsoft Edge as well. Uh, but we're just getting a general idea. So the max is about 35 degrees at idle. Now, what we're going to do next is we want to find out at what temperature the PC runs when we are... Um, playing games, running programs, so we're going to do a benchmark. Now, to do a benchmark, we're going to go back to Google and look for a program called Furmark. So that's F-U-R-M-A-R-K, download. So we're going to look for Furmark, and we're going to get it from this website called Geeks 3D here. Uh, we're going to click on the latest version, just up there, and then we're going to click this nice big orange download button. You can see that's just downloading up here in the top right now. We're just waiting for that to download. Okay. And once that's done, any second now, there we go. So same again, um, we're going to run Firmark, run the installation. And um, let's have a look here. We're going to accept the license agreement, click next. Click next, create a desktop shortcut just to make it easier to find the program once we've installed it. Install that and we have Firmark installed over here. 
So we're going to not read the release notes because we don't need those again, but just launch Fermark. And we will be presented with this window right here. Now, what we're going to do is run the CPU burner because the CPU burner is the temperature that we're looking for. All right, because the temperature of the CPU is what controls the fans from constantly going up and down inside of the PC. Now, if we have a look over here again, simply by running Microsoft Edge and downloading Fermark, we've actually raised the max temperature to 45. Okay, so running Microsoft Edge, Google, a browser, uh, that's already raised the max temperature a little bit here. Okay, so, but what we're gonna do now is run the CPU burner. So once this is opened, all you need to do is press CPU burner and then press start. And what this is gonna do is start running the benchmark for the CPU. And what we'll notice here is we start to see the temperatures increase. So that's at 48 degrees now. Some of the cores are up to 49 degrees. It's up to 50 degrees now. Okay. So we wanna run this for about five to 10 minutes, just so we see what the maximum temperature is that this gets up to. And once that's done, I will be right back. Okay, so this has been running for between five and 10 minutes now, and the max temperature that we're getting hold of at the moment seems to be around 58. So 58 is the maximum temperature. Now what I'm gonna do now is, remember the idle temperature that we had when we were just running tasks like Google Chrome, Windows Edge in this case, um, was about 45 degrees. Now, um, obviously when we're running Google Chrome, we don't want the fans to spin up. So we're gonna keep that number in mind. Uh, and what I'm gonna do here is write down on a post-it note, just so you guys can see, the minimum was 45, and we'll make our maximum temperature as 60 degrees because we'll just round it, round it up a little bit and this will just help us avoid the uh, the fans from actually uh, going crazy all the time. Um, so I'll just put this up here so that you guys can see that. So the minimum is 45 and the maximum is 60. Okay, so now that we know that we can stop this we're going to close down Fermark, close down the programs, and we're going to shut down the PC. And we're going to boot up into the BIOS, and I'll show you exactly how to do that now. So the PC is off, and what I'll do here is I'll just bring the keyboard up so you can see. So we only need to see the top row of keys. What we're going to do is I'm about to turn on the PC. That's on now, and then I'm going to press the delete key just here and what that's going to do is put us into the BIOS. So from here what you may be able to see um, no it doesn't say it there so this is the advanced mode of the BIOS um, you can actually see we have smart fan 5 settings here um, but before we go through this way um, I'll just explain because your BIOS might appear like this uh, where it's easy mode. So this is easy mode here. Now the way to switch back and forth with the keyboard again, F2 just there, switches back and forth between easy mode and advanced mode. So we'll start from easy mode and what you're looking for, it's usually over here on the right, is Smart Fan 5. Now depending on the model of your motherboard, um, the layout of this may be ever so slightly different, uh, but Smart Fan 5 will most definitely be um, present on this screen in some way. So we're going to open Smart Fan 5 and take a look at this setup just here. So what we want to do to begin is where it says normal just here, we're going to click that drop down and click on manual. So what this allows us to do is actually pick up the numbers on this graph and adjust where they go to. Okay. So we have these numbers written up here. As you can see, the minimum is 45, the maximum is 60 degrees. So the way we're going to do this is a CPU generally will run 
safe and sound up to about 90 degrees at that point you want to uh, maybe think about trying to keep it cooler um, so 90 degrees about the limit so we're going to start by putting number five up to 90 over here okay so 90 will be our limit um, just keep in mind that along this graph on the uh, I think it's probably the y-axis just along this way is the temperature and this way is the speed of the fan so if I put 90 degrees uh, down at the bottom although you can't move the top one any further down uh, but this one for instance uh, if I was to move it down here along with number three it wouldn't make a difference so you want the fan speed to go up with temperature all right so make sure you understand how this graph works and then follow my instructions so number five we'll start that at 90. now keep in mind the max temperature that we get on this pc is 60 even when we're running um, some quite extensive tasks so what i'm going to do is start at 90 i'll bring number four down to about 80 number three to about 70 number two to about uh, we can go with 65 and then we'll bring number one to that 60 mark so you want to bring number one to your your max temperature that you're experiencing because 60 is still a very safe temperature for the PC to run at now all we're going to do with two, three, and four now is we're just going to try and um, balance them out a little bit. So we'll, we'll split them up evenly, just so that there's a nice curve up to 90 degrees. If the PC ever gets that hot, um, it's going to be running at full speed. Um, the fans are going to be running at full speed, so there's no other way really uh, to do this any better. Um, so we're leaving number one at 60 and we're going to make our curve just like that. So once you've done this, so remember number one is going to be set to 60. That's our max temperature over here. Number five is going to be set to 90. So I'll just leave that on 90 there. Now all we're going to do is click back down here or press escape on the keyboard. So if I press escape just going to put us back to this screen then what we're going to do is press f10 on the keyboard which is just here that's going to prompt us to save and exit we're going to press yes